Hey folks, Dr. Kathy Dooley here of Immaculate Dissection. A lot of people are confused on the difference between a squat and a hip hinge slash deadlift position. So I wanted to show you the difference. A lot of the difference happens at the shin and the forces that are placed from the ankle relative to the hip and low back. So uh, I want have this pole here. <laughs> and this is gonna keep me honest. It's gonna help me maintain my cervical and lumbar curves towards the front, which are called lordoses and it's gonna maintain my thoracic and sacral curves towards the back, which are called kyphoses. So you can use a broomstick or whatever you have available, and you're gonna take the back of your head and let your head hit the pole. The area between your shoulder blades does not squeeze together, instead it pushes into the pole, and then the base of your sacrum is touching the pole. So these kyphoses, uh, these uh, borders of the kyphosis, are basically gonna be maintained, and then the neck is, is lordotic, it's curving towards the front, and then the lumbar spine is also lordotic, curving towards the front. So you're gonna maintain those curves and they don't change. Okay, that's the big kicker. And so a squat is gonna be a tiny bit more externally rotated at the start, which means the feet are slightly turned out. And then the shins are gonna translate forward as you sit down and less back. So it's like the buttock goes down more than back. Now with a hip hinge, you're gonna be less externally rotated, more feet facing neutral, and the shins are not actually going to translate forwards. Instead, you're going to bend at the hips and send the butt more backwards. Now the knees do bend, but they bend after the hip has already started bending first. So a properly executed uh, hinge is not this, because the pole would leave, right? But it's also not this either, because the tibia is translating forward. So you want to imagine there's something imaginary here that's holding you back. You can even place something in front of you to prevent a lot of that forward translation of the shin. So again, turn out for squat and turn slightly forward. Shin stays more in place. Hips go more back than down. What this does is it transmits different forces. The squat's gonna transmit a lot more force from relative to the quads and hamstrings together, whereas you have a more posterior chain event when the shin is more straight, which means your glutes and hamstrings will be a little bit more in total demand during the exercise. Either way, do never ever sacrifice your spine. Use a pole to start so you can figure out how to keep your neck long, chin tucked, chest wide, ribs down. That's the most important part. If you wanna see it from the front, I have my neck long, chin tucked, chest wide, ribs down, hips relatively even. I'm slightly turned out, right? And now I know my shins are gonna be coming forward for the squat. And then for the deadlift, shins are gonna be staying more neutral and my butt's gonna go back, but my knees are still gonna bend. So that's the difference between your squat and your deadlift or hinge. Hopefully you found this video useful.